Hello, this is Bookkeeping Master www.bpfs-online.com. This is one of many videos that we're doing that shows you the basics of Sage. This is Sage Instant Accounts I have in front of me. If you're using Sage 50 accounts, that's not a problem. The lessons are identical for Sage 50 and Sage Instant Accounts. So in this video we will be looking at the nominal ledger and that's a good place to start when learning Sage. When you load up your Sage software you should have a screen very similar to this. All we're going to do is go down to the bottom here, click on company and the nominal ledger list will appear like so. If you don't get this list appear and have this screen appear, the financial screen, it just means that your Sage software is defaulted to financials. That's not a problem, we'll show you how to change that later. But if you go under links here, click on nominal ledger, you'll get this list appear. It could also be that you get this list appear. If you just go to layout, click on the drop down box, click on list, then you'll get to the screen that we are now. Now what the nominal ledger is, is a group of codes that income and expenditure can get booked to. Okay, the codes are down on the left here and go from 0001 to 9999 to 1 to 9999. Each code has a name and then we'll have a debit and credit balance. If your Sage software is new, there probably won't be any balances. Um, because you haven't booked any transactions yet on Sage. So first of all, um, where's a good place to start? If I tell you the layout of these codes, um, I'll go through what the layout of the codes are now. You can write it down if you wish, but I will show you um, an easy way to see the chart of accounts or layout of accounts. Um, so basically from 0001 to 0999, so 1 to 1000, are all fist fixed asset accounts. Um, so what I mean by that, so here to here are all fixed asset accounts. And if we were to add any new fixed assets accounts, they would be from 0001 to 0999. A thousand to two thousand and ninety nine are current asset accounts, two thousand one hundred to two thousand two hundred and ninety nine are current liability accounts. Long term liability are two thousand three hundred to two thousand nine hundred and ninety nine, three thousand to three thousand nine hundred and ninety nine are capital and reserve accounts, sales accounts are four thousand to four thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Purchase accounts are 5,000 to 5,999. Direct expense accounts are 6,000 to 6,999. And overheads are 7,000 right up to 9,999. An easy way to remember that um, is 3,000 codes. So from here up to 3,999. Our capital and reserves, any 4,000 codes or accounts are 4,000 codes, um, we'll start with 4. Purchase accounts will start with 5, direct expense accounts will start with 6, and overheads will start with 7. Now like I said, there's an easier way to show you this. If you just click on chart of accounts, you have default layout of accounts, highlighted, if it's not, highlight it click edit and you'll have this screen appear and you'll see sales which is highlighted now breaks down sales for you they're all 4000 codes and it gives you further information like product sales, export sales, sales of assets etc click on purchases they're all 5000 codes and they've broken down here click on overheads there'll be 7000 codes plus so 8000 and 9000 Direct expenses, 6,000 codes. If we click on balance sheet at the top here, here are our assets and liability codes, and they're broken down for us too. If this is all confusing to you, then please get in contact with us um, at info at BPFS, that's Bravo. 
Papa Foxtrot Sierra hyphen online dot com. You can print this list off. Um, so if you're doing a number of transactions a day and you know you're not going to remember these codes, you could have a printout and stick it on your desk somewhere. Um, if you click to click on reports, you'll get this screen load up. We click on nominal detail reports, nominal list, and then click print to actually print this list off that's behind us. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.